Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to speed up your Acer computer that's running Windows 11. This tutorial will apply as well for Windows 10, Windows 8, and Windows 7 computers. So if you're experiencing a very slow boot up times, maybe you have a lot of different pop-ups and programs which is leading to instability, freezing, crashing, that sort of thing. Well, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to speed up and improve the performance of your Acer computer. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I'd recommend doing would be to right-click on the Windows Start button, and you want to select Task Manager. Select the Startup tab, and now you should see a list of different startup programs in here. Now, most programs can be disabled safely from starting up when your computer turns on. So basically, why would you want something turning on when your computer turns on here? Well, basically, if you wanted to start up quicker, so if when you go in the Start menu search and start searching for a program, if something is starting up here when your computer boots up, it should be more responsive when you go ahead and search for it. It'll load it a little bit quicker. However, generally, it's pretty inefficient, in my opinion. And a real downside is that it has to boot up with your computer every time your computer turns on. And especially some programs you definitely don't need to turn on every time your computer turns on. For example, like Microsoft OneDrive, unless you're using OneDrive. If you're using Dropbox or maybe you're not using any sort of file syncing application, you certainly can disable that from booting up when your computer turns on. Generally, what I would recommend keeping enabled would be an antivirus program. But if you have printers and other stuff, you can pretty safely disable them by just selecting the entry and then select the disable button. And if you find that you want to turn it back on, you can just come back in here down the road, select it, and then select the enable button. So again, something pretty straightforward for you guys to try out there. Something else I'd also recommend doing would be to open up the search, type in apps, best match, or come back with apps and features. Go ahead and open that up. While we're on the topic of applications, if you have a lot of programs installed on your computer and you're not using all of them, I would suggest removing programs you definitely do not need or may have been bundled with other applications you've downloaded and installed in the past. So unless it's a Microsoft Corporation app, which some apps you can uninstall while others you cannot, generally most programs can be uninstalled in here. So not only will you free up some hard drive space, but you can also remove programs from your system, which will also clean up services and different background tasks that may be running. So again, something I would definitely recommend looking into there. Something else as well, if you go into the search menu, type in power. Best match to come back with edit power plan. Go ahead and open that up. You can get to this too by going through the control panel and then select the power options. So we can actually go back to control panel here. Set view by two large icons, and then you can select power options. And that'll get you to the power options page. So on this page here, we're going to go and select high performance. If you do not see high performance, you might have to expand the show additional plans here. So please keep in mind that this will increase your performance, but it should decrease your battery life if you're using a laptop. It doesn't matter if you're on a laptop or a desktop, you can still set this to high performance. So when it says more energy, obviously that means more if you're on a laptop than a desktop. So definitely something I'd recommend adjusting here. Close out here. Something else we can try here too, if you open up the search, type in adjust. Best match or come back will adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Go ahead and open that up. Now, the absolute best thing you can do for performance is set it to adjust for best performance. And if you select apply and OK, it'll save the change. Now, you will notice there are some graphical differences like when you're moving stuff around on the screen and some of the text won't appear as clean. So you're welcome to customize some of those options. So if we go back to adjust, you can go and check mark certain items in here and then play around with it by selecting apply and OK. And you need to turn a few of them back on. That's fine, like just to improve some of the overall appearance of your Windows operating experience. So definitely... For example, if you want to show window contents while dragging, you can keep that check mark. If you select apply, you can see it'll stay on the screen. Stuff like that. You can also do stuff with the text and thumbnails here too, like smooth edges and scrolling. So again, just a few different things you can modify here. You're welcome to keep some of them or all of them enabled or disabled. doesn't really matter to me. But again, the absolute best thing for performance would be to select adjust for best performance, select apply and OK. Something else. 
too, I would recommend running a disk defrag on your computer, but before you do that, always recommend doing a disk cleanup first, so delete unnecessary files on your system. So I'm going to go ahead and open up disk cleanup. Best result, should come back with disk cleanup. Go ahead and open that up. And I'm going to select the cleanup system files button. Depending on how often you run this, it may take longer or shorter. For a lot of you guys, it's probably going to take a lot longer than what you see on my screen here. But you can see it's pretty quick, and it'll tell you how much space you're going to be gaining. Select OK. I sure you want to permanently delete these files. Go ahead and select Delete Files. And give it a moment to wrap up here. Again, I've seen this thing take anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes plus in the past. So don't be surprised. You're welcome to pause this video and then just come back to it once that's done. Something else I would recommend as well would be to, like I said, run a disk defrag. So open up the start menu search, type in disk defragment. Best result, should come back with defragment and optimized drives. Go ahead and open that up. You want to select your hard drive. If you have multiple drives, you can select multiple ones. You know, one at a, I think you do have to do one at a time though. So if you have a solid state drive, it won't let you defrag it, but it will let you optimize it. But hard disk drives, you can defrag and optimize. Windows will not let you actually defrag an SSD, at least through this built-in utility. If you're using some third-party application, who knows? But Windows should be able to detect what is available for your system, and they won't let you do something you shouldn't do. So that makes sense. So if you're attempting to use another application to do this and you're not sure, if you have an SSD or hard disk drive, I would definitely find that out first before running any sort of other disk defragment applications on your system because you definitely don't want to defrag an SSD. However, you can optimize it though. Now that's a little you know, up in the air. Some people say it's okay. Some people wouldn't do it. I've optimized plenty of SSDs and I've never had a problem as long as it's not defragging it. So just keep that in mind. You can do your own research into the benefits and cons of that. Really, like I said, I haven't seen any problems from running an optimization, but I've never run a defrag on an SSD, which you definitely do not want to do. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and select Optimize here. One reason I put that out there is that I know there's a lot of people are getting SSDs on their system nowadays. It's not you know where we were five or ten years ago. It's much more prevalent. The prices have come down significantly, which is excellent. And anyway, you can see we have defragged our hard drive, which is very useful, especially hard disk drives, I would say. So again, it should have improved your performance significantly, in my opinion, without seeing your actual computer. One further thing, too, that I don't know if a lot of people actually think about, you know, when trying to optimize their computer, is checking for file system errors. So if you have different problems with your computer, by running a system file checker utility, it can actually fix stuff in the background, which should actually improve the performance of your computer. So we're going to go ahead and actually run that scan here. So open up the search menu, type in CMD. Best result should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take a few minutes to run, so please be patient.
Okay, so once that's done, close out of here and restart your computer. So there you go guys, hopefully that was a pretty straightforward tutorial. Do a buzz, able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.